What day is it, Rex? What day is it? Are you excited? Are you excited? Yes, yes, yes! It's, it's Friday! <laughs> In our world, though, it really doesn't make a difference, does it? Because we run out the door every single day. Uh, but it's nice not to have to compete with the wind for a change. Still a slight northerly component. We've had air coming from the north all week long. It's 34 degrees outside, but really nice in the sun. Wow. With glassy water looking up towards the hull gut this morning. One of the warmer spots though, northern Maine again. Caribou 30 and Rutland 16. Is that right? Jaffrey 20. So there's still some warmer air left in parts of Maine, but there's colder air in Ontario that's coming in. And you wouldn't know it, but there's a storm system barreling at New England right now. You know what that is? I haven't talked about it too much. That's a weather stick. If it's pointed up, it means really nice weather. Pointed down, it means not so good. Kind of in the middle right now. Indecisive, a lot like some of the forecasts. Hearing grumbles about, was well, it gonna rain or is it gonna snow? Next Tuesday, what about tonight and tomorrow? Are we gonna make day 19 in a row of snow in New England? Not snowing this morning. Look at Mount Washington, gorgeous. Tuckerman Ravine, ready for springtime. It is going to snow before the day is over, so we are going to make 19. As a matter of fact, tomorrow is looking more and more wet and white on every run of the guidance. Look at that solid blue coming into Connecticut, kind of breaking up. But even in Boston, it may snow a little, rain a little. Cape Cod St. Patrick's Day Parade. Tim Whelan, your host and Grand Marshal. It's rain or shine. <laughs> Dress in layers. <laughs> it's going to be a, a fun time regardless, even though it's windy, wet, white. It's all about getting together, isn't it? We have storms getting together all over the place this morning. I was most surprised to see a new blizzard warning in North Dakota and Montana. It's not the strongest storm, but it's a very strong high pressure system in central Canada, over 1045. Now it is weakening. So the system coming across the nation now is leaving California in a mess. Flash flood warnings, snow is way up to 8,000 feet, avalanche, danger almost off the scale hey look at this rex we get a little frost a little frost this morning somebody chris commented this morning that you don't have snow on a frosty day because that's high pressure well things are changing very quickly and the leading edge of the cloud is right there snow is on our doorstep anyhow so yeah tomorrow is it's a pretty potent storm i mean you look at these colors red is over 30 40 miles an hour and Yellow is 60, 70, and then the, the brown is 70 to 80 mile an hour winds south of New England tomorrow. So it's kind of what I'm calling a wrong way nor'easter. It'd be the second nor'easter if it were to hit. It's, 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 it's a glancing blow. I've been talking about how we're going to get three nor'easters this month based on what Bob Copeland's been telling me. And it certainly looks like a storm on Monday, Tuesday, doesn't it? Now, yesterday, the Euro, I said way too far inland. I've never seen a storm loop like that. And GFS was way out to sea. Well, they've come together, so I'll just show you the Euro. Snow comes in here with rain mixed on Monday, and then it really slows down and stalls and maxes out Tuesday. And the loop happens right over Cape Cod. Now, I still think that's a little far north and west, and the GFS is pretty similar, so they've really come together on that. Uh, once again, I'll show you that sea surface temperature map. I showed this yesterday, but I didn't elaborate. You see where the the blue is and then the yellow. Uh, that's where the, the cold and warm gradient with the Gulf Stream out there. A lot of times these storms are gonna try and set up right where the natural mixing of cold and warm is, which is usually over our benchmark, uh, 40 degrees north, 70 degrees west. And why do I call it the blizzard loop? Well, it has to do with the upper level wind. Uh, we're gonna have a storm coming into the Midwest and another storm coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So this one is ripe and then it comes up and then what happens is it goes up with the jet stream, but then the jet stream cuts off and the storm actually backs and loops around. And the reason I call it the blizzard loop is because it happened on Cape Cod back in February, 1978. And I did my uh, college kind of thesis senior paper on that 
storm, so it's ingrained in my head. And that one looped very close to Nantucket. The occluded front came to Cape Cod. The sun came out. The wind went calm. And something like that may happen with an eye-like feature here on Tuesday. I'll show you that wind color map again. This one's from the Euro. You see a lot of red, then yellow, then gold. So there is potential. Yes, Peter, on the North Shore, Gloucester, of winds gusting past 80 miles per hour uh, near the hypothetical eye wall. I'll show you the 500 millibar chart, and those are isopleths, those black lines of equal iso height, really, where the 500 millibar is. And you can see almost no wind there over eastern Massachusetts. And those black lines in circles, those are the outer edges of the snow bands that are going to develop. So whenever you get a cutoff like this, it seems like the snow expands way out away from the center, way out farther than where anyone forecasts. So there is potential for an overachieving snowstorm all the way up into southern Canada and New York with this one. You don't talk about atmospheric rivers on the East Coast too much, but Ryan Mao, he's been going off on this one. I don't know, he's looking like he's just, he's given up on, you know, fighting the uh, the alarm and he's just joined just to to be making fun of us. I'm not sure, but Ryan's been going off on, on these tweets lately of blizzard, bomb, loop, all this stuff, uh, atmospheric river. Anyhow, California's not done. It's got a terrible weekend coming up and uh, here in the Northeast, we may have bookend storms going on here with sub 980 storms. There's potential this thing is gonna get down to the 970s. So the high pressure all surrounding it is there around 1025. So there's your uh, sort of almost 40, 50 degree millibar pressure gradient. Wind is air moving from high to low pressure. And we have the uh, pressure gradient all around this storm next week. I'm not for storms that cause damage and power outages, but it looks like that's what we may have and still uncertain whether I'm gonna make it across the nation to the west coast but that's still the plan all right something different i went to the dog park yesterday i'm gonna leave you with a sunset over the south shore yacht club okay talk to you later you blend you blend rex let's go down and check it out look at that there must be a parking lot here or something things change don't they it's a pretty force of gravity and the earth going around and around and around might get better before it gets worse what do you think? Not paying attention to you. That was three minutes condensed into 25 seconds. Seen places the last couple days. Down by the water. South Shore Yacht Club. Kind of nervous that T-Rex was gonna take off on me, but he didn't. Good boy. Come here, Rex.